Hey class six, a little bit of maths. In my PE kit today, because what I want to do, I should say because, is do a couple of little PE things and exercises for you to have a go at home. But first, maths. First one is division. Just to quickly recap the column. Okay, four digit minus one digit. Sorry, four digit divided by one. What we look at is sharing everything into eight. Remember, this is a thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. So we're sharing 7,000 into eight pieces. What we can say is seven into eight doesn't go. So we can put the zero remain with seven. Now we're going to eight into 76. That's 76 hundreds. It's the value of that column. Now, if you're not sure, then jot a little down on the side here. So I might think, oh, I know what 10 times eight is, anchor point. 10 times eight is 80. And then I know nine times eight is 72. So 76 is between that. So I know it's gonna be nine, which is 72, remainder of four, which gives you 43. Eight into 43 tens. Okay, again, if you're not sure, I know that 40 is going to be five lots. Okay, anchor point of 10 here. Um, and the next one's gonna be 48. So it's definitely going to be five lots with three left over. Now I go to my next point. Okay. I know that five lots is 40. So I think four lots is going to be 40 minus eight, which is 32, which is going to be this 32 and leave me as a remainder two. So I could write remainder two. Oops, sorry. So the answer would be 954 remainder two. I could put it as a fraction. I've still got two shared into eight. So I've got 954 and two eighths. I could do as a decimal. So if I put a decimal here and a decimal here, and I've got a placeholder here and here. Okay, so we need to do two placeholders. I've got a remainder of two. So I've got 20 in the tenths column. 8 into 20, 8, 16, 24, so it's going to be 2. Some of you have already guessed this, remainder of 5. Uh, no, sorry. Um, remainder of 4. 8 into 40, 40 hundredths. Gives you 5. So all three answers will be the correct. Next up, problem solving. Okay, you need to write down all the key bits of information. Real simple. Here is a rectangle. B is a quarter of the total area. So you should work out that A is going to be three quarters of the area. B is a quarter. A is 34 centimeters squared larger than B. Okay, so have a look here. The difference between these two is two quarters. So if this one is two quarters bigger, I know that two quarters is equal to 34 centimeters squared. Difference between here, the difference here. Which should then tell me that the total area of this shape, because I want to work out the length, is going to be double this, four fourths, which is going to be 68 centimeters squared. Okay, once I've done that, I then say, ah, oh, okay, if the total area is 68, four times what equals 68? Well, what is 68 shared by four? So again, what I do is I think to myself, 10 times four is 40, 20 times four is 80, so it's got to be between that. So. I know 15 times four is gonna be 60. Ah, now it gets me closer. Um, because I know that two lots of four is eight. So 15 out of two gives me 17. Check it, four times 10 is 40, four times seven is 28, put it together, 68. So we have 17 centimeters. Now jot everything down. It's a lot trying, to try and remember in one go and do all your calculation. 